Hi there, it's so good to be back. I have missed doing this so much. I have the mini greens here in front of me and I wanted to make good on a promise that I would show you, you know, how to cut these so that you can use them in your salads or whatever you decide to do. So first I'm going to take a fork and I'm gonna separate a few of them I think I will anyway, I'm trying here. Separate them. And that one actually popped out. And then I'm going to just snip them with the shears. And by the way, make sure that your shears are sanitized and that you've washed your hands before you do this. And I'm just gonna work my way through all of the mini greens and just snip them off. And I've noticed before that I've been able to sometimes get two cuttings out of one planting. So maybe you'll get lucky to do that and then you can have more. They're so, they smell so good. They smell fresh and they whet my appetite because they have such a good fragrance and I look forward to having them in a salad. So I'm going to keep working through. Get the other side. You have to remember that they're very tender so you have to be pretty careful when you're handling them because they they will break easily so try to treat them tenderly. Pretty well got them cut. So they do, they smell great. Mm, wish you could smell them because they have such a fresh garden smell to them. Makes you want to just dig right in and have them in your salad. Okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, so Remember that you want to use these very quickly. They're not something you can keep because they'll wilt and then they won't be good anymore. But So plan on cutting them just before you use them so that you'll have fresh ones and they'll be crisp and work well in your salads or soups or whatever you use. As I've said before, they were great in salad. They're great on a sandwich. And I even had some clam chowder one night and put some in my clam chowder and it was really good. Felt like I got uh, my protein and my greens in, all in one cup. So let's see, what else do I need to tell you? Um, make sure you water them um, next morning after you cut them and you might be able to get at least one more cutting. So two cuttings would be nice. And there's so much good food value inside them. You're gonna be really glad that you raise them they'll really help you feel more healthy and they will just be something to look forward to each time you use them um, if you have any questions about microgreens please go on to my facebook page uh, a and l forever plants and just leave a question there and I'll be happy to answer it for you within 24 hours or so. I'll come and cut one more little part here. So if you um, got good information and a good value out of this, I would really be glad for you to give me a big thumbs up on my Facebook page ANL Forever Plants and and continue checking it out for other things that we're doing on there information that we're providing to help you be a good gardener we thank you so much for stopping by and look forward to 
doing some more videos to help you out. Thank you very much.